Welcome back, everyone. I'm the Depressed Eora, and this is Labyrinth of Toho 2. So yeah, like I mentioned before, that boss is pretty crazy. Um, we got lucky with the misses, and it's kind of random on when he does that AoE, and it's a physical-based AoE, so you can very easily just find yourself kind of screwed. But we pulled through, and that's all that really matters. So yeah. Now we can kind of just focus on clearing out the rest of this. Before we do that, I'm going to hit this little corner here because it's going to drive me nuts. Alright, spell card. And I say debuffs work, but I think the only reason the debuffs were working was because of Ryzen. Um, Komachi's were, was not hitting very well with hers. When it did, it helped quite a bit. I'm actually really glad we've been leveling up Discarder. It doesn't really increase the amount of debuff that much. Um, it increases a bit like 1% per level, but that adds up. And one thing I could be doing with Raisin is I could be popping her elixir so she can buff herself. It actually has a really short uh, ATB uh, setback. So I could safely use it without losing uh, initiative. But it's been a long time since I've used Raisin in any of the games. Alright, so these two spots. So yeah, I'll go ahead and keep tackling these holes here. Um, we do need to go back to that other checkpoint though, because we hadn't fully explored that area yet. But that's okay. Sorry, getting all sorts of mixed up. Yeah, I figure it's just going to be the same spot. That's fine. Where's that actually put us? Okay. I mean, oops, that is the wrong place. I mean, at this point, the game is expecting us to um, backtrack to one of the other seals that we still need to go through. But we're not ready to do that just yet. Also, I, I forgot to level up after that boss fight, but that's okay. What's our average level looking like right now? 53, and it looks like we're around 65, give or take. It's not too bad. Alright, looking good. I think we're just about done here. In fact, uh, that is everything. That is all the holes. Fairly certain that's all the holes. Just gonna be thorough and make sure. Yep, that's everything. Good. Alright, in that case, you know what, before I forget, we can do the level up bonus later. All right. So we want to go 415 and finish up this area. So finally we'll go past those holes that we've been jumping down over and over again.
I could also use Nidori's um, self buff as well, instead of having to rely on Sene all the time. I need to look up how much that actually buffs. Nice. These five unit encounters are really good. They get us a lot of uh, money experience and drops. Stone of Awakening, so we're up to 10. Yeah, at this rate we're going to get the jewel pretty soon. We don't really need the jewel, but it does mean I don't have to worry about resetting characters if I need to reuse a stone. Or give someone else a subclass, rather. Considering giving her sub equipment that gives accuracy, that way I can give her the death I the death item. All right, what's up here? stay on this floor long enough that we're actually running out of M uh, MP, which is good. Dark de uh, Determination. Is that a second one? Yep. So we have more more characters that could do this. I mean, really the only characters you would put that put it on is Kamachi, Yuyuko, and possibly one other character. Cause, I mean... Is that Dragon Boy? Is Dragon Boy back? All right, let's say hi to Dragon Boy. Yeah, we've been cycling the over and over again that it looks like we got uh, survived it. There we go. Okay, that's it for Netter, eh? 
So now we want Team Ryson and Sakya. The two of them together should hopefully be enough. We, ha we haven't had too much experience using them on 4.15 though, so we could be walking into death. One way to find out. Okay. So Star Mine is not enough to deal with the gelatins, which is fine. Level 66 boss. Pretty sure I know who that is. Good hits. Yeah, the gelatins have like no HP. Um, as long as you can do more than like one damage, you might be you you should be able to kill them. All right, was just confirming. Yeah, we've gotten master emblem before. All right. Jeez. Iris Seal. Uh, the road opens to the one who controls all ghosts is engraved on it. So you have to have Yuyuko at this point. If you don't, you can't get to here. Alright, we're not going to fight this boss because I know who it is. I wouldn't mind a little bit more preparation. Metal Shattering Yokai Axe. An item important to the story setting, this axe can shatter metals, and even occasionally shatter the terrifying yokai metals. He's also plenty strong without it, and when berserk, victory is 100%. Maximum MP uh, minus 5, but attack and mag values will increase by plus 1. So, not too shabby, if you want to just get more bulky at the cost of MP. else to bring in. So the biggest issue is speed. I don't think we have enough speed to do what we want to do. Is that a hole? Yeah, so unfortunately the stat increase um, doesn't happen until somebody has ha uh, has a turn. So with the buff, we would probably outspeed these guys, but without it, not so much. Alright, we're down here now. Well, might as well finish clearing out this area.
So I burned the majority of my training manuals on Remelia. I haven't considered who else I can possibly use it on. <laughs> That's a heck of a punch. Go Muscle Mage. Alright. Yep, let's just fall down this pit. What do you got for me? Nowhere in particular. Yeah, this is nowhere important. This is where the other, uh, the other boss was at. Alright. Okay, that's all that. I'm not sure if she can just punch it. I think she can, because of her ability to bypass defenses. But I'm not entirely certain. Alright, almost done. There's a couple of spots I still want to check, but I think we've gotten everything. Yeah, that's everything on this floor. So we're gonna go ahead and leave. I want to check uh, floor 14. Okay, looks like everything's good there. And then 413. That's what I thought. Okay. What's up here? Iris Seal. A large block uh, rock blocks the pass. Only those who possess 72 or more achievements may pass is, is engraved on it. Okay, so which so if this boss is here, what boss is up in the other floor? I... I'm not sure. <laughs> I actually don't know which one is there. Alright, we are going to go ahead and do level up bonuses to get ready for this. And I may try to make an effort to uh, get... Yuka up to snuff, but I don't think I have enough money. I think her magic's almost a, a decent po uh, part. But the, the rest is questionable. I mean, easiest way to... Let's, uh... So yeah, I'm literally just crafting everything uh, because we want to get to the uh, achievement. And then from there I kind of just scan all this to see if there's anything extra to sell that I feel like selling.
50 million prides. So yeah, as you can see, it definitely adds up. There's also, of course, the achievement for selling stuff. Alright, let's see, what can we do with Yuka? She's getting there. She is lacking the bulk, though. Let me get her to speed 50, at least. And then the rest can go... ...to health. Some mind, and some defense. Because she can actually have decent defense. Okay, that is... Let's give her... We'll just dump the rest into health so she can actually possibly tank a hit. Alright, sorry, doing this on screen. Alright, uh, nothing for you. Mental concentration will actually not be bad for you. That, that'll increase her amount of MP recover when she concentrates, which she stays in the front, so she does use concentrate. Uh, two levels of ironclad is nice. Uh, final tier of paralyzing, so I believe that makes it 100% base chance of paralysis. You're one point away from him. Maxing out discarder. Ah, uh, you're one away from getting anything. And you're definitely... Uh, give you a mind boost. Oh, and I can give you a mag boost. Yeah, might as well. Anything else for you? You're saving up for that. You're saving up for that. Okay, cool. That's everybody. So yeah, I'm not sure... Which is which. And that's a problem. I'm fairly certain this is who I think it is. Actually, I might be able to pull off just having everyone out. Hmm, what's this, uh, what's with this place? The place that Remus' party, party arrived at was adorned with ten wooden tablets with laws engraved on them. These, wood, these are wooden tablets, huh? That means... Komachi! Eek, I'm sorry! What are you apologizing for? Eh, uh, Lady Shiki, uh, it's just a reflex to apologize whenever you call for me loudly. Wait, why were you calling for me so loudly this time? Kamachi, if your immediate reflex is to apologize once called upon, it means that you are still hiding questionable matters within your heart from me. Be aware of your sh your own shortcomings. Eh, y yes. That sounded like something she came up with on the spot. Maybe she likes yelling at uh, her name for fun. Now then, down to business. Raymond Marissa, what are you doing? Not much, really. Uh, we just happened to find this place with all these uh, wooden tablets standing upright. It was hard to ignore. These tablets are yours, right? What's this supposed to be, anyway? Yes, they are mine. These wooden tablets repel monsters. I used them in a, a formation to protect this area from potential hostile intruders as much as possible, so that I could rest here. But they were still mere wooden tablets. They couldn't uh, completely stop monsters from advancing. I gave it uh, the order to simply stop whatever it could from entering. Huh. If you needed to make an impromptu resting place, that means that you're having trouble exploring alone, right? As shameful as it is to admit, that has become apparent. Sounds like a good opportunity, then. Why don't you come with us, boss? That may be for the best, but before that, shall we do battle? Uh, why? I wish to test your resolve to solving this this problem. If you treat this battle with the seriousness it deserves, I can expect similar results in the battles ahead. We shall begin now. It, it can't be that she just likes to fight, can it? Okay. Not who I was expecting. At all. This was not who I thought we were about to run into. But now we're dealing with this. This is this is happening now. So we're gonna do some of that. 
you're gonna do some of this. You're gonna do that. Uh, you're gonna do this. This. Oh, well that killed her. Good to know. So at some point we're going to run into a lot of problems. Normal, weak against that. Mm, 34,000, huh? That doesn't seem like very weak to me. Discarder? Back down. Okay, so what's gonna happen next is we're about to get hit for a lot of bad stuff. Well, not a lot of bad stuff, but the front row is gonna take a lot of bad stuff. Paralyzing incense? Nope. Tried it. Was worth a shot. Alright, similar damage. Oh right, I think she takes reduced damage in this state. Yeah, her defenses go super high when she's in this charge-up mode. So unless I have someone that can pierce defenses really good, we're not going to get very far. Oh, super resistant to that. Well, you're not going to be useful then. Yuka? You can always try to see if that helps. Right, let's bring back Mei Ling. Flower shot? Okay, so... At this point... Go ahead and just keep doing that. Tag you out for Flandra. Not bad for fully resistant. Yeah, 72,000. It pierces all defenses. So needless to say, it's, uh, it's a bit rough. There you go. Extra actions. Nice. Okay, that... Do I want to buff somebody? Let's uh, buff you. Alright, Nettery, you should be fast enough. So...
I think we're okay. Um, so I, what I remember of this boss is once she hits certain thresholds, she will concentrate and then go in, and then once she does her concentrate, she will do last that uh, single target strike that will pretty much kill anything. And uh, that is what seems to be happening right now. But her defenses are super high in this state, so you kind of have to deal with that. Mailing is so amazing. I, I wish I had made her more into attacker in the past. I mean, I didn't really play with her much in this uh, game. I definitely used her in the previous. Uh, the only time I've ever really used her is when I was trying to do an SDM run. Uh, Olzaz, Sh Shamshir, Happy Hat, Light Needle, Purifying Amulet, Fighting Gem, Magic Gem. Ouch. To have attained such power in such a short time, your group are... Your group are treating this more properly than I had foreseen. Maybe the Marissa are used to dealing with these kind of uh, dangerous charges. This is like a daily routine for them. Ha! Huh, how'd you like that? Are we suitable suitable to our dear Enma's eyes? Yes, with such a clear victory on the record, I can have no complaints. I sh shall be accompanying you for a short while. Great! We're getting a lot of strong people in now. We're, we'll be counting on you, Eki. By the way, I have heard that you... You have rented out several rooms in the end in the human village and made it your base of operations, correct? Yeah, it's actually pretty fun, though the more people we got, the louder I got too. Allow me to say this before it becomes an issue. Kamachi, I will not enter the bath at the same time as you. Do you ensure do ensure that our bathing times are staggered? Eh? Why? Wait, I, I don't mean that I want to bathe with you, but to be rejected up front like that is pretty shocking. This is non-negotiable. Anyway, please take the necessary measures. What? Why? Shikiaki Yamagzanadu has joined the party. So yeah, uh, Komachi is rather well endowed, and uh, Shikiaki unfortunately is lacking. Alright, I was not expecting that boss. But we, we managed to win, so that's really all that matters. We got another one of these, which is Attack, Defense, and Fire Mystic, which is pretty good. Have you been using it? Yes, you have. Here, you can have it. I mean, who else could actually make use of it? Yeah, I think it'll go great with you. Since those punches do pack a punch. Alright, cool. Well, that was the nice trial run. I didn't realize uh, Shikiaki was vulnerable to nature, which is good. Because the other boss that, that I thought was I was going to be fighting is also vulnerable to nature. So that all works out very favorably. And what's our average level? Yeah, we're like... We were a bit more prepared than uh, with Flandra. Because we're, our average level is a little above 65 now. That's fine. So yeah, before we go, let's just do a little bit more buffing on uh, Yuka. So Shikiaki, um, she has some weird spells, but the really the standout, especially in, in this game and the previous one, is her single target spell that does a ton of damage that can pierce all defenses. It's really, really handy. But I don't plan on using her. So, uh, I think she has an AoE that can do all status effects and all debuffs, but it's not particularly strong. But I don't, like I said, I don't really remember. She is, she does have death, instant death access. Though, again, it's probably not that powerful. But uh, I don't intend on using her for this playthrough, so it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I am the Depressed Eeyore. This was Labyrinth of Toho 2. I'll see you guys next time.